seen the Smurfs movies? Yes, I did. I, I kind of want to see you and Hank Azaria team up for a live-action animated movie, and you two could play a duo of villains. Oh my God, that's completely that. That I mean, if this is surre surreal, that is more surreal. <laughs> All in blue. <laughs> it's a blue I would surrealism. Watch that movie. <laughs> so Paul is the director of this movie, but Mike Mitchell directed the live-action elements of it. Correct. So can you tell me a little bit about working with the two of them together as actors directors? Well. Do you, uh, with Michael, it was great because I, I, I knew Michael from uh, one of the works in Shrek. He directed me in Shrek. It was, I think it was Shrek uh, 3 that I did with him. And it was a, it's a very creative uh, guy. I, I, I really loved him. And he helped me enormously. He gave me a tremendous amount of space of freedom in order to create the character in the way that we wanted. And at the same time, instruct me about, you know, what the other characters were going to do in a scene that actually physically obviously they were not there but uh, so uh, we were a very interesting good team I, I like him a lot I would like to work with him more what is it like on set are we talking tennis balls or is there a more an advanced kind of visual cue for you tennis balls yeah <laughs> sometimes the, the 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 crew just made some uh, you know jokes to me and they put like um, little wigs on the tennis balls and stuff like that <laughs> just to make me laugh they paint faces on them and things just to make the thing a little bit more believable <laughs> but, uh, but it was technically a little bit difficult but at the same time it was a challenge and it was a nice challenge you know you look like you're having a blast in this movie is it all fun and games or is there ever a moment where you have to think this is what my character is feeling right now uh, it's fun you know i Many people said that today to me um, during all the interviews that it seems that I was having fun and that makes me very proud, actually, to tell you the truth, because that's the purpose. Um, now, it was all the time like that? No, it was <laughs> difficult sometimes, especially for the makeup. It was a very, very aggressive makeup to wear every day and, you know, the beard and the wig was difficult. But, uh, but uh, the fact that you say that to me, that it seems that I was having a great time, uh, Listen, mission accomplished. Now, there's no good way to transition from SpongeBob to Knight of Cups, but I'm dying to know because the last time someone from our outlet spoke to you, you didn't even know if you were in the movie, and then I saw the trailer, and you're in it. I am? <laughs> yeah, you're in it. You have, a lot of, you have a pretty big chunk in it, too. <laughs> All right. I didn't know that when I was shooting. <laughs> it was one of the questions that I made to the director. Am I going to be in the movie? Oh, yeah, you're going to be in the movie. Of course, that's why you're here. And then I saw everybody on the camera team saying, <laughs> so you haven't seen a cut of the film yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Are you a little nervous? Because I know you just got a monologue and then he just shot it for X amount of hours and you kind of have to see how it fits into the narrative. Is that how it's working? Yeah. I arrived to the set and basically what he said to me, he says, Antonio, we, we, we didn't send you a script because we don't have script. And so this monologue that I gave you, which literally didn't make sense whatsoever. Uh, is, I'm going to show it in line, nine different locations, and I'm going to just uh, improvise with you, and I'm going to send you something that I call torpedoes. And these torpedoes thing were people that came in the middle of the monologue started improvising with me. He sent me a beautiful woman, he sent me an old lady, he sent me a, a bunch of three guys that are rappers. Uh, I ended up in a pool with three ladies, uh, you know, with my tuxedo. Are so, you reading that as you or as a character? I. Don't know. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Uh, but I'm very curious just to see what this genius of movies did. 